Um, hey, love bugs, take your love vitamin. I have a message, and I think this message is for women. The the cards, some cards fell down when I was in the middle of doing that first video, that romance video. Um, but I took it as an omen. Take your love vitamin. I'm gonna show you, and then I'll explain it to you. Take your love vitamin, love bugs. So these two cards fell. The abundance card and the distorted divine feminine now you could be a man or you could be a woman but i saw in my head a group of women you're so busy manifesting abundance you're so busy working you're so busy running yourself out and the holy spirit is saying slow down someone wants to get to know you slow down someone wants to love you slow down Everything is going to be provided. Some of you all could be doing things a tad bit backwards. And the Holy Spirit is trying to get your attention, not only in the matters of love and romance, but in the matters of your finances. You need to have a good relationship with the Holy Spirit. You need to have a good relationship with the Lord, with your ancestors, with your spirit guides to understand how to manifest. You don't have to chase abundance. You don't have to chase money. You have to allow it to come to you. So some of you all need to work on your manifestation skills and or abilities. And you need to understand that you're worthy. You're worthy of love. This is for men and women. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your worthiness. You have been someone that you didn't think that you were worthy, that you were good enough. You could be someone that people have put down for quite some time. Or maybe you were ran over. You were taken advantage of because you were too nice. You're too nurturing. There are very nice, nurturing, loving men out here as well as women that's been taken advantage of. And they put their focus in, I'm going to make this money, I'm going to make this money because I don't want to focus on the matters of the heart. And now God is saying, slow down. Slow down. There's going to be a song down below. You need to slow down and you need to understand that people are human. And the humans, we have needs. Um, you, Your desires are as beautiful to want to live a, you know, rich or wealthy life if that's your desire. Uh, but don't forget the small things in life. People are admiring you and they see that you're so uh, independent. I think as a woman specifically, you're, don't be too overly independent. Slow down. Let someone help you. Slow down. Let someone show you, teach you, educate you. Slow down. Let someone romance you. Slow down. Let someone love you. That song down below will make sense. Yep. Uh-uh. Nine of Pentacles. Your behind is overly independent. Slow down, love bug. You have everything that you need. You know, and others know, you may not need a person for money. You may not need a person for stability. You are so busy getting it out of the mud, doing it on your own, yourself. <clears throat> you could have been rare like me. My father taught me to be very independent. And I'm not going to lie, overly independent. But that does hurt us. And we need to understand to make room for those that want companionship, that want girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, wives, you got to make room for a help me. You got to have room for a soulmate. You got to be willing to say, I like to have some help. It's okay to not have all the answers. It's okay not to do it all. This is somebody's confirmation. You, you don't ask for help. You are accustomed to just scraping it and getting it done or just making the way. And God is saying, slow down. Let someone else help you. Slow down. Let someone else love you. Slow down. Let someone else pamper you. See that temperance card? Slow down. Someone wants to get to know you. You're moving too fast. You can't even see it. <clears throat> All right, Holy Spirit. What else do they need to know? What else do they need to know? Let me turn this back over because the Holy Spirit is saying, remind you again, you're worthy. You are more than worthy and you are deserving of love. The five of swords, again, in a love aspect, the five of swords is not being defeated. When you go look it up, the five of swords is one that's not going to be defeated. The four swords are in his or her hands. They've held themselves back. 
because they were healing. It could have taken you a long time or just taken you some time to get over something. And you've been so focused on getting that bag, getting that promotion, getting that job, going to school, um, elevating in life, truly evolving. Other people are watching you. People take note of your life and they see you and they're like, man, do you even have room for me? You know, do you do you want to be loved? Do you want someone to care for you? Do you have to say, I got it. I, I, I don't need that. I got it. Is it okay for you to have it and someone else still want to treat you? Do you not want to be pampered? <clears throat> Can someone not cook you a meal? Can someone not take you out to dinner? Can someone not open your door? Can someone not give you a compliment without you thinking they want to get under your clothes or wanting your money, what you have? Can they not just support you? Can you not be supported? Why? Why? It's, your, your life is, is, is noted. They know. You don't need them, but they just want to. Can they do it because they want to? Because it makes them feel good? Because you deserve it? Because you're worthy? Can they do that for you? All right. Let's see. All right. Dang. Y'all motherfuckers do not want to stop being independent. What the fuck? <clears throat> I hear that song by Beyonce. Stop listening to these goddamn artists. I'm not sure need no man. You don't need no woman. And they ass got whole husbands and wives and girlfriends. And you know, it's just out here. Stop putting that shit in y'all spirit so much. Look here, seven of cups. You're so busy. I got I got to figure this out. Okay, okay, okay. I got my retirement. Boom. I got my kids. Boom. I got to buy this house. Boom. Okay, I'm getting off. I'm getting off section eight next year. Boom. Okay, I got to I got to buy this right here. I think I'm gonna start this business. You got so much you're doing that you can't even see. You wearing your own self out. You killing your own self. You can't take a day off. Hmm. You can't request a weekend off. Some of y'all need to reprioritize your schedule for you. It's wearing you out. Yep. Look at here. That's over. There's a new you. It's over. Doing things by yourself. God wants to send someone to be a help meet to you. He know you got it. He know you can do it. But he's saying stop. Just stop. The world card. Just stop. Just stop. I know you don't need help. I want you to have help. Because I want you to explore something different. I want someone to be close to you. I want you to be vulnerable. I don't want you to get it out of the mud like that so much by yourself. Oh, shucks. The three of wands. You've been waiting. You keep saying you don't have, you don't know one's coming, but someone is watching you. Y'all have people watching y'all that want to get with y'all, but y'all so goddamn busy. The two of cups. There it is. Do you want it or not? Yes or no? Y'all want this love? You better focus on yourself. Open up. God, turn. I'm back here sweating bullets. It's early in the morning. Take a chance. The fool card. Change it up. You got a relationship coming. Stop saying my finances ain't right. I ain't lost enough weight. I ain't got rid of my stomach. I ain't got rid of my, my love handles. This person gonna love you for who you are and the way you are. And y'all can do it together. Stop trying to be perfect. Man or woman, and learn to be accepting of who you are. Stop allowing other people's opinions to become facts in your life. This is somebody's specific confirmation. I was about to cry. I don't even know why, y'all. Y'all y'all got me back here about to cry. Damn. Oh my God. The eight of swords. Y'all gotta get out your head. Think somebody gonna hurt you. Or maybe stop watching so many messages like that, thinking somebody's going to kill you. If you feel like somebody's going to kill you, stay away from them. You've been fighting a long time, the Knight of Wands. Some of you all, you've been hurt by players. Some of you all, you know, you could be, is is you're coming out of a phase of you're no longer being a player. You're no longer being non-committal. God is doing something different. So you may not need to get with someone who wants to say, oh yeah, you my boyfriend, you my girlfriend. Stop being so quick for the title and enjoy the experience of life with a person. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. You're fighting your own self. You're called, you create this battle. Now you got to sit here and win this battle. Here's your breakthrough. The battle can be over. When you stop at this eight of swords, stop sabotaging yourself. Stop thinking about what everybody else is going to say. What are they going to say? A breakthrough is here for someone in their love life. 
This breakthrough is going to bring you this right here. The four of pentacles. Someone who's going to hold on to you very tightly. And someone who's going to help you manifest your dreams, your desires, and be happy with. A prayer partner for some of you all because you need someone to pray with. Because uh, y'all didn't come out y'all head. And the six of swords. You want to move differently. So this is peace. The four of cups. You've been rejected. Some of you all have been rejected so much or you're afraid of rejection. Others of you all, you may be the rejecter. And now God is saying it's time for you to, you know, slow down. Allow someone to love you. People reject people because they're afraid of their actual, um, their their actual, what's that word? Damn, I forgot. When people, when people reject people, it's not because they want to hurt them intentionally. It's because they're hurt. So this is some of you all dealing with your inner hurt. And God is saying, let it go. You know, a breakthrough is here for you. It's time for you to break away from other people, other things. It's OPP. It's time for you to stop dealing with other people's problems and prioritize your life. Now, that OPP could be for something else. So, if it, it stands for that, then y'all, you, you know, work with those energies as well. Um, But this is an opportunity for someone to know that you are worthy. You don't have to have everything. You can have some, maybe even just a little, but you can get with someone and they can help you manifest that which you truly desire. This person will hold onto you very tightly. This person will hold you down. And the four pentacles y'all have will be enough. If it's only four pentacles, it's going to be four solid pentacles. Okay? All right, close this out, Holy Spirit. I'm going to put that song down there. See here? The third eye chakra. The third eye is something you're not seeing correctly with your life, with your, you know, with your energy, sadness and isolation. You're coming out of that. You're coming out of that now. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Y'all better focus. Y'all want this love or not? <sighs> well, your ass better focus. Okay? We ain't going to be doing all this damn the. fresh. We ain't going to be doing all this damn crying either. Do you want this love or not? Don't play with me. You're going to be loved today. You heard me. You're going to learn today. Long loving. All right, back to the message. That was a little bit of Eric Mays for y'all. Anyway, I love that man. Anyway, anyway, trust. You're going to trust people as well because you can be trusted. That's the end of that. All right, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. All y'all single parents out here or people with children, you allow your love life to be affected because of children. I know what that feels like personally. You know, you have to prioritize. You don't have to put your children in the midst of your dating life until you truly feel and know it's right. You know, you're going to have to uh, maybe get a babysitter or ask family for help or just be honest and say, you know, hey, I want to date. Can you help me with the kids or hold the other parent responsible of having, you know, y'all children while you can get so, so so that you can get some other things done but your love life has been affected by children so some of you all need to stop making an excuse stop using your kids as a god darn excuse stop lying i ain't want nobody to watch my kids your mom and daddy ain't gonna hurt your god darn kids child hey let them they just, you got brothers you got sisters cousins all them favors you didn't do before they can't watch your turn uh-uh child bye stop that you don't have to bring somebody around your kids that's the one thing I'm transparent moment. That's the one thing I regret about when I was rearing my daughter. I did not date. I suffered in that. Sometimes these trust issues come from us. Deal with your inner issues. This is the nine of wands. If you have trust issues, you could have been through some things and you're so overprotective of your children, but you don't trust God. You don't trust yourself. You don't trust what's going to happen because you're too busy trying to make it. I want. I, I got to know. No, faith. You don't see it, but you just know it's going to be well. Stop using them kids as a crush. Using them kids as an excuse. Look at here. You deserve love. Some of you all, you need to forgive your parents. You need to let, you need to let go of some things. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Let go. Let go of those things and those people that hurt you. I'm going to pull this out. That song will make it make sense. <laughs> oh, my God. It engaged me. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This could be the one if you try, if you open up, if you stop being afraid. 
if you take a chance. If you slow your ass down, Mr. Independent, Mr. Independent, you got Pisces, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. Peace and blessing, great day. I truly hope this helps. God, slow down. Let someone spend time on you. It's okay for someone to invest in you. It's okay for someone to want to get close to you. And it's okay for someone to compliment you. It's okay for someone to want to make love to you because you're a lovable person. It's a process. It's a phase. Phase one, phase two, phase three. Just you got to start. Come on, get to the starting line. Don't give up. I love y'all. Great day. Namaste.